ओके इन इंडियन जोग्राफी द मेन क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम इज ऑन रिवर्स ओके द टाइप्स ऑफ रिवर्स इन डायरेक्शन विच दे आर फ्लोइंग द डैम्स बिल्ड ऑन इट देन प्लेट्यूज प्लेन्स समटाइम्स ह्यूमन जोग्राफी ह्यूमन जोग्राफी मीन्स द ट्राइब्स ओके समथिंग लाइक दैट सो फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस इंडियन जोग्राफी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लाइक टोपोग्राफी फर्स्ट कम्स फाइव डिविजन माउंटेन्स प्लेन्स प्लेट्यूज रिवर्स लेक्स आईलैंड ओके समथिंग लाइक दैट सो टू बिगिन विथ वंस अपॉन अ टाइम द अर्थ वॉज लाइक दिस ओके Have you heard a theory called as Big Bang theory? Before that, uh, scientists had a uh, something in mind that imagine this is sun. From this sun, all the planets were formed. This was the idea. Okay, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Okay, this way, this was the idea. But if you check the uh, constituents, like for example, what is there in this Mars? What is there in this Moon? It did not match with the sun. Okay, so sci the uh, scientists they got to know. that this planets are not formed from the sun okay so they had an idea that's time when big bang theory came into force big bang theory now according to this theory there was something called as atom a small atom it bursted and from that we have so many planets okay so the first planet is mercury second is venus third is mars most of the questions will be based on venus venus is called as the morning star Venus is called as the evening star Venus is also called as the earth twin it is the hottest planet why it is hottest planet because the atmosphere is covered with carbon dioxide and there we have acid rain okay so these are the things that you have to keep in terms uh, in when it comes to venus then mercury venus earth and mars these four planets are called as terrestrial planet they are called as what they are called as terrestrial planet terrestrial planet means the planets which are very close to sun rest all planets are very far okay so these things you have to keep in mind you got the point here so according to big bang theory earth was formed by the big uh, big splash of the atom and all so now we are going to study about this planet earth okay now this earth came into existence but how did the land form started coming into existence earth was a hot gas okay it was a very hot mass it started cooling down okay all these things started so here there is a person called as alfred wegener who is this person you have to keep telling uh, repeat after me otherwise you won't remember all these things alfred wegener he gave a theory called as continental drift theory what is this and keep writing continental drift theory this theory was given by alfred wegener understood so he was a person who told that all the continents was together once upon a time okay all the continents was they have they were a landmass a total landmass and then they got split up okay look at this now now imagine according to alfred wegener continental drift theory what i am telling here continental drift theory here alfred wegener divided this earth like this okay this yellow color part what i am shading here this is land okay this is land and land was surrounded by water land was surrounded by water so this idea who gave it alfred wegener in which theory he gave continental drift theory now he gave the name okay he gave the name this uh, for this land as panagia what is this here panagia and this water here he called it as panthalassa panthalassa so tell me what is land here panagia what is water here panthalassa okay and this panagia can you see i have drawn one line imaginary line in between that is called a zero degree equator okay this is zero degree equator and above this zero degree equator panagia look here panagia is divided as laurasia and this is called as gondwana okay so i'll draw once more imagine this is the globe okay this is the panagia so this is divided like this so the upper part is called as what laurasia and the bottom part is called as what gondwana what is that here so laurasia plus gondwana is together called as panagia together it is called as panagia and this complete water is called as what tushar it is called as what dhyan hai idhar nahi hai what is this water called as panthalassa okay so this is what you have to know in the beginning now look at this this is 0 degree equator 
India comes in the northern hemisphere. Pens down. India comes in the northern hemisphere here. Australia comes in the southern hemisphere. Okay, so India is in northern hemisphere. Now tell me, India is in northern hemisphere. So India is part of Laurasia or Gondwana? India is part of Gondwana. Do you understand? This is what is geography. You got the point? You can't guess it. You can't uh, simply sh uh, tell the wrong answers. Now look at this. This is what is Alfred Wegener theory. Now according to Alfred Wegener, what happens? Earth is rotating. Yes or no? 24 hours Earth is rotating. Now this is sun. Okay. Now sun is going around the earth or earth is going around the sun. Now this is sun, this is earth. Earth is rotating and it's on its own axis. At the same time it is revolving around the sun. So imagine imagine you are going to play football. Uh, air is you know coming in opposite direction. You are running in opposite direction. You feel that air is pushing. Yes or no? When you go in opposite direction of the air, what the air is going to do? Push. In the same way, this is earth. When earth is rotating, the air is going to push the earth. So there is an opposite force. What force here? Are you able to imagine? Above earth we have gas that is called as atmosphere. What is that called as? So that atmosphere gas, it rotates opposite direction. So someone is pushing this earth. So who is pushing this earth? The atmosphere or the air. So that force, the pushing force is called as Coriolis force. It is called as what? Coriolis force. Do you remember that day I showed you a video of, uh, you know, water, clockwise and anti-clockwise, right? So that time that man was talking about this Coriolis force. And this Coriolis force is very important in geography. We will study about in ocean current, okay, climate, monsoon winds, etc, etc. So what is Coriolis force? It is the opposition force experienced by the earth. It is experienced by the earth. Look here now. Many, many years, millions of, year, uh, uh, millions of years, this earth is rotating. So what happened, this Laurasia and Gondwana started splitting up. It started splitting up, divide, divide, division, okay. So it started going like this, it started going like this. Pieces of land started formation. What happened here? This all different land started formation, you know, and now they are all going in different direction. Okay, they are all going in different direction. So what happened here in this earth, one piece of land it went here. Another part of land it went here. Another part of land, it's like this here. Okay. Another part of land is like this here. This is, okay, this is like this here. And down it is like this. So today, you have seen, you know, this is our globe. Yes or no? So, Alfred Wegener is giving some proof. What is the proof? He is telling that jigsaw puzzle. What is telling? What is the meaning of jigsaw puzzle? For example, I take this Africa. Okay, I take this Africa, I take this South America, I join it. I get a complete landmass. Yes or no? So this is called a jigsaw puzzle. So like this, if I take all the land and if I join it, I get Panagia. What do I get? Panagia. Panagia is divided into how many parts? What are those? Laurasia and Gondwana. India is part of Laurasia or Gondwana? India is part of Gondwana. Very, very good. Now remember this Gondwana. Slowly I'll tell you the next inf information about Gondwana. Do you understand? So this is First question in your examination, UPSC, they will ask you, according to continental drift theory, jigsaw puzzle, according to continental theory, jigsaw puzzle, which of the following continent can be joined? They will ask you like this, Europe and Australia, can I join it? Asia and North America, can I join it? Africa and South America, can I join it? Yes, that is the answer. Do you understand? So the first proof, according to continental drift theory, is what here? Jigsaw puzzle. Second proof, okay. What this guy did, he went to Africa. Africa is a continent, South Africa is here. Okay, look here. Now, here, this guy, he found a soil, a type of soil. Okay. Now, from here, he went straight to South America. And here, there is a country called as Brazil, all this country. So, here, when he saw, the soil was of same age, same texture. Same soil is formed. So what can you imagine? Can you say that this two land was once upon a time together? Yes. Okay. So that is the answer. So he proved that once upon a time these two continents were joining each other. But this is not enough. Maybe he is guessing. Next third proof. The fossils. What is this here? The fossils of dinosaur. One animal is dead here. The same kind of animal fossil was found here also. Do you understand? So now Alfred Wegener told, this animal fossil bones are found here. Same animal bones are found here in South America also. 
Now tell me, is it possible that this animal will cross this ocean and go to South America for dinner and lunch? No. Once upon a time, maybe they will be together and they would have died, right? So that is the proof. So these all three proofs you have to keep in mind. You got it? In exam, they may ask you which of the following is not the proof of continental drift theory? Which of the following is not the uh, joining of the continents? Okay, do you understand? Okay, fine. So now I told you India is part of Gondwana. So now we are concerned about India because we are living in India. Okay, forget about this land which is going up. Down, we have Gondwana. Okay, look here. Gondwana got divided into three big landmass. And here, this plate is called as Eurasian place. What is this here? Now, continental drift theory, they are dividing plates into major plate and minor plate. Tell me, these plates are divided into how much? We have seven major plates. How many major plates? And near about eight minor plates. Okay, seven to eight, we have minor plates. These questions they have repeatedly asked in your examination. Just look here. If you if you listen to my class, then see my PPT and then my notes. No need of any geography classes. Okay, you will hundred percent make it. Now look at this. Seven major plates. Now tell me how many continents do we have in continent? Yeah, that seven continents are called as what? Seven major plates. Okay, so now here one of the major plate. We have Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, South America, like this. We have one major plate called as Eurasia, Euro-Asia. What is this here? Euro-Asia is here and Eurasia is part of Laurasia. Eurasia is part of Laurasia. And down we have Gondwana. Now what is happening millions of years ago? This Gondwana land got divided into pieces. One piece, two piece, three piece. Earth is having Coriolis force. Yes or no? What is Coriolis force? Yes, opposite force experienced by the earth. Okay, and remember, whenever Coriolis force comes, climate, monsoon, wind, ocean current. Ye aapke mind mein chalna chahi. Though I am teaching you continental drift theory, if I say Coriolis force, three things should run. What are those three things? Ocean current, climate, monsoon. Okay, fine. These three brothers are traveling towards northern hemisphere because of Coriolis force. Because of which force? Now, already here there is water. What is there here? Sea is there, right? And this sea is called as Tethys Sea. Konsa sea hai Tethys Sea. And it took lot of years. Slowly, this you know three big landmass. It is traveling, traveling, traveling. It is going, going, going. And here we have a sea called as Tethys Sea. In between this Tethys Sea, here you have volcanic mountain. What do you have here? Now tell me, volcanic mountain will give what? Ice, snow, volcano. Volcano. So now volcano is coming out. Okay, but these three people they don't know what is going on here. Okay, and this process went on. Now what happened when this mount volcanic mountain? Okay, when these three landmass came here, when these three landmass came here, they encountered. Now there is fight. Volcanic mountains and three big landmass. Okay, this is it didn't happen one day. Okay, it didn't happen one day. Slowly, slowly, slowly it is happening. And here already there is a uh, big plate called as. Eurasian place and here there is a sea called as Tethys Sea. So what happened in Tethys Sea? This process is going on. These three people got united and they crushed this volcanic mountain. Kya kar diya? De crushed. Matlab they demolished it. So what is happening? They are pushing this volcanic mountain. Do you understand? Imagine I am walking. I am pushing this table. I pushed it down. Okay. Like that. These three plates. They were so powerful due to Coriolis force. What happened to this volcanic mountain? Okay, abhi dekho, kachra, you, uh, you know, you broom your, you know, clean your uh, room. So that time this dirt is taken. So now here what happens? This is Eurasian plate and this is, you know, Gondwana ka, three plates and these things are crashing. What is happening here? These three plates and this Eurasian plate, they are crashing. Now tell me, this is Eurasian, my right hand is Eurasian plate, left hand is three uh, Gondwana plates. They are coming, they are crashing and after crashing what happens? They keep giving force and what is forming here? What is forming here? These mountains are called as Himalayas. These mountains are called as what? Himalayas. Okay. So now what happened? An interesting fact. Imagine this is Asia. Here you have India. And here you have Himalayas. So India and Asia, they are, we are constantly pushing. And what is happening to the Himalayan mountain? It is growing. 
which is the tallest mountain in the world himalayan mount which is the tallest peak in the world mount everest okay the tallest mountain himalaya so where do we have it in india do you understand okay something like that you have to remember fine now the question is what happened to the tethys sea what happened we are sitting on it india is on it disappeared understood so now if you find in google where is tethys sea you will never find it why because hum uske upar baithe hain india is on what tethys sea tethys sea disappeared do you understand okay so now why did i told you volcanic eruption this and that okay what was the point of it now upsc question the question is like this himalayan mountain which uh, will have which kind of soil red soil alluvial soil black soil volcanic soil uh, laterite soil something like that yeah okay now next question in upsc the question is like this in himalayas in himalayas will you find fossils of fish will you find fossils of fish fossils means what imagine there is a blue whale imagine there is a blue whale which died it's a, it has a very long lengthy bone okay so that dead fish can i found in himalayas yeah can i found in himalayas now what happens the student without preparation if they go in exam hall they will say that yaar kitna easy question hai you know so easy question himalaya mein to ocean nahi hai himalaya mein to sea nahi hai to fossil fish aayega hi nahi to ye foolish pan kya karta hai option a it cannot be found understood what i told you this three land masses we are traveling and we are consuming all the tethys sea so when we are pushing all the sand what happens even if there is a dead fish what will happen what will happen samajh mein aa raha hai nahi aa raha hai ya fir alag bhasha mein bolu main idhar dekho ये है आपका एशिया चाइना इमेजिन ओके चाइना और इधर से इंडिया आ रहा है देर इज इंडिया कमिंग हियर गोंडवाना लैंड थ्री पीसेस आर कमिंग हियर हियर वन फिश डाइड ओके हियर वन फिश डाइड एंड दिस लैंड इज पुशिंग एंड देन वी हैव हिमालयन फॉर्मेशन सो व्हाट हैपेंस टू दिस फिश इट विल बी हियर और इंडियन साइड और चाइनीज साइड चाइनीज साइड तो आपको मिलेगा नहीं मिलेगा ओके दैट्स इट समझ में आ रहा है सो यू विल फाइंड फॉसिल्स ऑफ फिश इन हिमालय ऑल्सो यू गॉट इट so this is one thing now what happens uh, suddenly in indian uh, mythology okay sages hindu people they say that this fish here garuda bhagwan was there or vishnu bhagwan ka you know yeah something like that this was the fish in which vishnu bhagwan was saving you know he is vishnu pray prayer chalu ho gaya okay you know what happened in madhya pradesh there was a village and in that village people used to do farming okay they used to do farming with tractors and bullock carts and all this thing they used to till their land and every time they till the land they hit a hard rock okay they you know bullock carts you know bullock carts they try to till the land and suddenly the bullock cart will get stuck up they will dig it they will find one big rock say like big rock round shape exactly round shape have you seen cannon wo bomb dalte hai na like that so first of all they will feel it is bomb britishers ne bomb dala hai so they feel nahi nahi dar lagta hai so touch they will touch all the water they will pour then they will take it then they will clean it it will be pakka round they will keep it aside again they will start telling within 50 meters again there will be that same stone like this they keep removing it 50 60 100 like this you know accumulating now they got to know all the stones are of same size so this is god what they did this is god so they build a temple inside temple they kept all the stone haldi kumkum nariyal agarbatti everything they started doing praying all these things suddenly one britisher is coming in that village it happened just recently 20 30 years back he comes there and he finds all stones are of round shape everything somewhere something is happening in this land he started going and searching then he told to this world this eggs are of dinosaurs kya ye dinosaur eggs you got it so it was discovered you know panna tiger reserve inside panna tiger reserve this village was there so now that is india's only dinosaur uh, park where you get the eggs So now, when the villagers are told that these are all, you know, dinosaur egg, they are doing more puja, okay, like that. So this is what it is. You understood now, fossils and all. समझ में आया? Next question. Uh, you have different kind of soils. Red color soil you have, black soil you have, alluvial soil you have. Okay. Now, you know igneous rock, igneous rock, igneous rock. Okay, that igneous rock will be formed in volcanic region. Okay, wherever there is volcanic eruption, जहाँ जहाँ पे volcano eruption है, वहाँ पे Igneous rock will be formed. That is the basic log logic. 
now the question in upsc is that true or false in himalayas you will find igneous rock in himalayas you will find igneous rock true or false if true tell me why if false tell me why okay now imagine a student who is not preparing for this exam simply he applied he got hall ticket and he just want to take experience okay so now he goes there in exam hall and the question is do you find volcan uh, igneous rock in uh, himalayas so what his mind will say igneous rock kidhar milega volcanic er himalaya mein volcano hai kya do you have volcanic eruption in himalayas no so igneous rock is not found in himalayas that is a logic which he will apply but now you tell me i told so much story will you find igneous rocks in himalayas yes why very good because this three landmass because this three landmass collided with the volcanic mountain in which sea tedis sea that's it if you are understanding this beautiful okay you are understanding the geography you got the point so like this geography is a very interesting thing you have to know many facts and connect it ओके okay, मैंने अभी रिवर बोला ना तो रिवर को आपको रेन से कनेक्ट करना है ओके लाइक दैट सो जस्ट लिसन टू दिस क्लास एंड कीप रिपीटिंग देन ओनली इट विल गो इन योर माइंड ठीक है फाइन सो डिड यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द हिमालयस आर फॉर्म ओके सो हिमालयस आर कॉल्ड एज फोल्ड माउंटेन बिकॉज इट इज क्रैशिंग एंड इट इज स्टिल फोल्डिंग इट इज स्टिल फोल्डिंग एंड रिमेंबर एवरी टेन ईयर्स रिमेंबर दिस एवरी टेन ईयर्स इंडिया चाइना फ्रांस अमेरिका दे विल कम दे विल गो टू माउंट एवरेस्ट एंड दे विल चेक द हाइट ऑफ माउंट एवरेस्ट every 10 years himalaya is go growing 10 meters it is growing how many meters every 10 years so if you see 8848 meter is the height of himalayan everest mount everest but now it is rechecked as 8858 meter do you understand okay so every 10 years this things changes and those who are trying for competitive examination they won't ask this question of which is the highest peak in asia which is the highest peak in india because there is problem if we say kanchenjunga chinese will come and fight you know that there is a news arunachal pradesh is named as south tibet by china and many villages are changed the names of many villages in arunachal pradesh is changed by china now why i told you this south china sea if you understand south china sea i will tell you about arunachal pradesh tomorrow okay but take it seriously fine so ye sab samajh mein aa gaya next is the word gondwana what is that yeah gondwana now here in india there is a place called as chatisgarh dharkhand okay all these places are there now here we have a tribe these tribes are called as gond tribe in history we have studied about munda rebellion munda rebellion santal rebellion like this you have gond okay khasi garo all these people so gond is a tribe living in which place Are you living in which place? In Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand, mid mid part of India. Okay, so these people, you know, they are very ancient people. They are living in India from many many years. Okay, they are living in India from many many years. So these people, uh, the name of the Gondwana land. Tell me, continental drift theory. The center land is called as what? Panagia, and water is called as what? Okay, Panagia is divided into two. What are those? Laurasia and what Alfred Wegener did? He named this part as Gondwana on behalf of which tribe? On behalf of which tribe? समझ में आया? That is the credit which we get. Indians we get it. So Gondwana land is named after which tribe? Gond tribe. Coming to India, in question there will be a question in exam. Which is the oldest part of India? Tell me. which is the oldest part of india they will ask you like this okay oldest part of the world you can answer but oldest part of india it is this part deccan plateau which is that deccan plateau okay you know deccan plateau karnataka lies on what karnataka is above sea level or below sea level bangalore is above sea level or below sea level how much meter how much meter we are about three, like 3000 meter above the sea level theek hai remember that so now deccan plateau is the oldest part of india okay samajh mein aaya deccan plateau the southern peninsula is called as the oldest part of india do you understand fine okay so this is the beginning of your indian geography now we will study about india 
you got the point tell me how many states we have 28 can you tell me the capitals quickly yeah okay capital of jammu kashmir ladakh le punjab haryana chatisgarh nahi chandigarh okay rajasthan jaipur gujarat gujarat gandhinagar next you have maharashtra karnataka goa goa panaji kerala tiruvananthapuram lakshadweep kya ho gaya india mein nahi hai wo ya lakshadweep kavarati lukia lukia no time to look in the map lukia lakshadweep kavarati andaman nicobar port blair tamil nadu chennai andhra telangana okay madhya pradesh bhopal chatisgarh yeah chatisgarh raipur jharkhand ranchi orissa bhubaneswar west bengal kolkata sikkim gangtok then uh, bihar uttar pradesh lucknow assam dispur inga inga assam dispur arunachal pradesh manipura ittanagar meghalaya mizoram nagaland yeah nagaland kohima okay so tripura tripura agartala nagaland kohima okay remember all these things then uh, unit territories all these things are there 28 states okay now this is india we are going to study india the first one is mountain okay samajh me aaya mountain then we will study about the rivers then we will study about the plateau then we will study about the lakes then we will study about the coast okay coast and then we will study about the island samajh me aaya okay ready fine so now for example you have india here here you have a mountain range what is that mountain range himalayas in pakistan there is a place called as pamir not what is this here pamir not from pamir not there are different ranges one mountain range it goes to china one mountain range is come to india the mountain which goes to china is called as kunlun shan what is that kunlun shan then you have tairan shan okay like this shan means mighty mountains what is meant by shan big mountain in chinese language it is called as shan here in india we have himalayas what do you have himalayas and here you have a knot called as pamir knot okay see recently you have heard news just now world's longest tunnel is going to be open in ladakh okay it is been opened so now they will ask you this question and very soon india is going to open the world's highest uh, bridge railway bridge in chenab river so they will ask you chenab river बस ऐसे ही है करंट अफेयर्स विद न्यूज यू हैव टू यू नो कनेक्ट द डॉट्स समझ में आया फाइन सो हिमालय सबको समझ में आया फाइन नाउ वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट इमेजिन यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम साउथ यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु कर्नाटका टुवर्ड्स हिमालय टू सी दैट माउंटेन सो व्हाट हैपेंस फर्स्ट यू विल सी स्मॉल माउंटेन देन यू विल सी बिगर माउंटेन देन यू सी वेरी हाई माउंटेन सो दीस आर द थ्री रेंजेस ऑफ हिमालय ओके दिस माउंटेन रेंज इज कॉल्ड एज हिमाद्री व्हाट इज दिस या the middle one is called as himachal and this one is called as shivalik this one is called as shivalik tell me what are the three himalayan ranges himadri himachal shivalik do you understand now they may ask you this question if you come from india towards china first which mountain ranges you will touch shivalik if you come from china towards india himadri now tell me i told you this himadri region is the tallest right so here you have which country and here you have which country india now tell me chinese will find it difficult to climb this or easy to climb it difficult to climb or easy to climb tell loudly difficult is wrong answer they find it easy they find it easy why again come back to continental drift theory three land masses they are crashing they are forming himalayas so when when you see the chinese side this mountain is like this do you understand and this is your tibet plateau which plateau 
so if you if i draw this himalayas from china side it is like this and from india side it is like this okay so for indians it is very steep but for china it, it is very flat that's why the aram said they come by walk they have railways there they have railway you know that they have railway tracks in this himalayan region but can we have railway track indian railway going like this no we can't go it doesn't go straight in uh, you know plateaus samajh me aaya so ye hai idea you got the point so why chinese are attacking all these things you remember topography and those who want this service which you are trying army navy air force you without map reading you cannot become officer at night time you have to do map reading sunday you will have holiday okay sunday you are free the officers will say gentlemen tomorrow is sunday that is your special day you do anything okay but there is a small task there is a map reading you have to do a small map reading and then you can go wherever you want you, uh, you can start morning 6 o'clock you can start and then you can go out so now you have a plan ki i will meet my friend i will go and eat pizza burger because they are eating only roti chapati and upma so i'll go and eat something nicely and my stomach should be full you will start the map reading at 6 am you keep reading the task it will be 6 pm your sunday will go in map reading if you don't do that map reading you are removed from the training to understand so saturday sunday monday there is no special day when once you enter in the service theek hai no timing this time i will study this time i will sleep this time i will eat kuch nahi okay wo sab 10th ke pehle tha abhi you are grown up so now did you understand now now tell me is it easy for the chinese to climb or difficult and for indians it is difficult now between this shivalik and himachal there is small mountains there are small small hills and these people are called as dun this is called as what have you heard dera dun what is dera dun famous for dera dun is famous for okay nda students will get training in which place pune khadakwasa okay ota students will get training in which place chennai okay and one more place there was one more place ota there are two ota one is chennai and another is okay i'll give you clue that is the place where uh, uh, lord gautam buddha got enlightenment varanasi is wrong yeah darwad yeah sarnath is the place where which he gave the first speech ladakh which which buddha you are talking Yeah, what is the answer? Bodh Gaya, you know. Bodhi is a tree. Gaya is the place. Sab Gaya, khatam. Okay, okay. So O T A. Remember this. There are two places, Chennai and Gaya. But I don't know Gaya. There was a news that they are going to stop it. They are going to because operational cost is more. So O T A will be there in, okay, Chennai. So you have to know that where you are going to train. Boys, those who are going to try 10 plus 2 entry, J E entry to become engineer. they will ask you this question where you are going to be uh, trained kidhar aapko training milega malum nahi okay so ye sab pata hona chahiye so you have dera don you have portly don you have courtly don okay this many don so what is in by don here small hillocks between which between where, what himachal and shivalik did you understand okay fine so this is one thing next suppose if i draw this jammu kashmir okay this is sikkim and this is imagine india like this the himalayan mountain ranges it comes like this okay it protects it protects india and it keeps covering india here and then here there is an interesting fact this point is called as namcha barwa what is this here namcha barwa and from this point the himalayan does not betray us धोखा नहीं देता हिमालय ऐसे सीधा नहीं जाता चाइना में इट अगेन कम्स बैक टू इंडिया डू अंडरस्टैंड इट अगेन कम्स बैक टू व्हाट इंडिया नाउ व्हाई दिस थिंग हैपेन टेल मी बिकॉज द प्लेट्स हैज कोलाइडेड ठीक है बिकॉज द प्लेट्स हैज कोलाइडेड सो दिस दिस माउंटेन रेंजेस इज कॉल्ड एज पूर्वांचल व्हाट इज दिस हियर सो हिमालय फ्रॉम दिस फ्रॉम दिस नामचा बरवा पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड एज व्हाट पूर्वांचल समझ में आया ओके इसके बाद ओके लुक एट दिस आफ्टर दिस हियर इन मेघालय मिजोरम ऑल दिस प्लेसेस यू हैव बिग बिग माउंटेन्स हियर यू हैव अ फेमस हिल कॉल्ड एज मिशमी हिल्स व्हाट हिल्स डू यू हैव ओके नेक्स्ट यू हैव वन मोर हिल कॉल्ड एज पाटकाई बम ओके यू हैव पाटकाई बम लाइक दिस सो दिस देन यू हैव नागा हिल्स टेल मी वेयर इज नागा हिल्स 
वेर इट कैन बी नागा हिल्स किधर होगा पाकिस्तान में होगा या नागालैंड में होगा हाँ तो बोलो नागा हिल्स इन नागालैंड दैट्स इट ओके सो दिस आर ऑल दिल्स न वाई डिड आई टेल यू दिस मच इन डिटेल इन यूर यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन दे विल आस्क यू अरेज द माउंटेन रेंजेस फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट दे विल गिव यू नागा हिल्स पाटका हिल्स मिशमी हिल्स ओके मीजो हिल्स मीजो इज ऑल्सो देर ओके मीजो हिल्स ऑल दिस हिल्स आर देर Do you understand? So these many hills are there only in the northeastern part of India, seven sisters of India. Do you understand? Okay. So this is what you have to know about the Himalayan region. Next, they will ask you, Himalayans, what will happen if Himalaya is not there? What will happen if Himalaya was not there? china would have declared whole of india as tibet whole of india as south tibet they will say me and you are gautam buddha's uh, descendant right next that is one threat otherwise in history chengiz khan would have come to rameshwaram correct he would have built a temple there in rameshwaram enter aram se chal ke jao right it was easy for those people next climate wise what will happen hmm. did did sir taught you westerlies and easterlies okay what is easterlies Hmm. The winds blowing from what? Polar winds, you know. Okay, polar winds blows from what? Equator to poles or poles to equator? From poles to equator, polar winds blow. Then you have westerlies, easterlies. So what happens if these Himalayan mountains are not there? Himalayan mountains will not block this wind, cold wind. So all this cold wind will come into India, and India will shiver in cold. Okay, so people in Tamil Nadu will start wearing sweater. Understood? सो बनियन लुंगी विंगी छोड़ के क्या करेंगे ओके स्वेटर हैंड ग्लोव ओके ये हो जाएगा क्लाइमेटिक वाइज देर बी डिजास्टर ओके सो दिस इज वेरी डेंजरस इन चाइना मंगोलिया इफ यू सी पीपल इट इज वेरी स्कॉर्सली पॉपुलेटेड वाई बिकॉज द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन इज लाइक दैट ओके फाइन सो दे मे आस्क यू दिस ऑल्सो वॉट विल हैपन इफ हिमालय इज नॉट देर फॉर इन इन्वेजन एनी कंट्री कैन अटैक अस ओके और द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑल दिस थिंग्स नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दिस यू हैव हियर अ माउंटेन कॉल्ड एज Aravalli mountain which mountain Aravalli is the oldest mountain in India which is the oldest mountain in India okay these questions are asked in agnipath and all take it down aravalli is the oldest mountain in india and here you have mount abu and guru shikar guru shikar is the highest peak in aravalli guru shikar is the highest peak in aravalli at the western ghats no ho gaya Okay, those who know will raise your hand now. Okay, don't try to tell the answers. Ready? Okay, look here now. So where is Mount Abu? Where is Guru Shikhar Aravalli? And where is this Aravalli in this Rajasthan and all these places? Rajasthan, Haryana, ke, Delhi, ke pas. Okay. So now here, this Mount Abu. Mount Abu is a peak. Mount Abu is a peak, and here there is a temple. On Mount Abu there is a temple. Only the candidate, those who know, raise your hand. If you don't know, I'll tell you the answer. This temple is called as Dilwara Temple. What is this temple? Tell me which god is present, or this temple is for which religion? Shiva, Vishnu, Krishna. Yes, Abhimanyu. Sikh. Sikh will have temple. Yes. Buddhist. Next. Anyone else? Temple means what people will think. Which religion? Hindu or Islam? Hinduism. So students will write it is Hindu temple, but it is it is Jain temple. Do you understand? Jain temple on Mount Abu. What is that? Dilwara. This was last time Agnipath question. Okay, last time Dilwara temple. Which religion? Okay, what is the answer? Jain temple. But in UPSC they don't ask this. Okay. So uh, but still you take it down. Okay, look here now. Have you heard a place called as Thane? Thane, Bombay, Mumbai. The first Indian railway was between Bombay to Thane. Okay, look at this. So here, from Thane, there is a mountain range. It keeps coming down like this. Okay, it keeps coming down like this till Kerala, till Kanyakumari. This mountain is called as Western Ghats. This mountain is called as what? Western Ghats. Now look at this. Okay, इधर सुनो. These mountains are called as Western Ghats. Okay, 
and in this western ghat here near tamil nadu there is a place called as anai mudi anai mudi is the highest peak in western ghats what is the highest peak in western ghats then near ooty there is a place called as dotta beta dotta beta dotta means big beta means mountain okay so this is the second highest peak dotta beta is the second highest peak in western ghats so did you understand the information which i am writing on this board the highest peak the second highest the lowest tallest largest this is asked directly in gd soldier gd agnipath and all but upsc questions are different okay look here now if you have finished it look here now tell me which is the highest peak in western ghats anai mudi now the question in upsc is like this the elevation of the western ghats increases towards the north option 1 the elevation of the western ghats decreases towards the north option 2 the elevation of the western ghats increases towards the south and last option the elevation of the western ghats decreases towards the south which of the following is correct elevation elevation decreases yeah <coughs> what is meant by elevation what is meant by elevation height what did i tell you here what did i showed maine diagram mein kya bataya anai mudi and dotta beta the highest peak is in south or north so if we come from north what is happening to the height increasing or decreasing so what is happening here the elevation is increasing towards the south do you understand this is upsc question this is how you have to prepare water level water level is correct but it's not like the mountain got mixed with water okay this is land imagine this is land imagine this is sea okay the mountains will stop here that's it after that there will be a vast land and then ocean will start it's not like a pura samudra ke andar chala it's not like wonderla that you know a slide samajh mein aaya okay so tell me the height the elevation of the western ghat increases or decreases towards the south increases towards the south ओके वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग लुक या इधर देखो तुषार अभी मैं क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा ठीक है अभी ये इधर एक घाट है ओके okay, इसको हम बोलते हैं ताल घाट ओके okay, यहाँ पे एक घाट है इसको हम बोलते हैं बोर घाट वॉट इज दिस घाट या बोर घाट बिटवीन केरला एंड तमिलनाडु हियर वी हैव वॉट इज दिस पाल घाट सो वॉट आर दी घाट इंपॉर्टेंट घाट इन वेस्टर्न घाट अरेन्ज इट फ्रॉम साउथ टू नॉर्थ north to south that's it this palghat is called as palakkad okay in tamil nadu or in kerala we saw, call it as palakkad okay so these are the things north to south south to north now there are other ghats also in western ghat shirdi ghat okay all these ghats are there but they are not asked in exam till now they didn't ask if they ask you have to be smart enough okay mitesh writing so these are the ghats we are to have to keep in mind next how many of you seen uh, chennai movie of sharukh khan and uh, who is that deepika padukone chennai. chennai express the train stops near waterfall where it is which waterfall the train stops in near the waterfall have you seen it okay yeah let me talk about yeah tushar bolo chennai jo movie hai chennai express usme famous songs bolo nahi dekha lungi dance usme hai ओके वो लास्ट में कहा था क्या कश्मीर तू कन्याकुमारी और एक वन टू थ्री फोर गेट ऑन द डांस फ्लोर ओके हु इज दैट एक्ट्रेस हु इज दैट एक्ट्रेस दीपिका सॉन्ग में प्रिया मनी है ओके हु इज दैट प्रिया मनी विच 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 स्टेट विच स्टेट विच स्टेट acts for kannada avanga kannada solranga okay i thought okay i thought there is listen here i thought there is dispute between tamil nadu and karnataka on river but there is dispute with priyamani also here now okay fine along with rajnikant also will fight theek hai na so already we have so many issues see priyamani is from tamil nadu okay her first movie was paruthu viran and then she got uh, you know limelight to central and all these things now why did i tell you all this thing because Uh, remember a few days back i told you about the contract marriage contract marriage example okay so now uh, have you seen 
एक वेब सीरीज आ रहा है इसमें अमेजोन प्राइम में कौन सा फैमिली मैन करके फैमिली मैन उसमें प्रिया में नहीं कौन है वाइफ ऑफ 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 हु इज दैट मनोज बाजपेई ओके मनोज बाजपेई एंड ही इज वन ऑफ द फेमस एक्टर ओके जस्ट लाइक वी हैव सूर्या विनिंग नेशनल अवार्ड्स वी हैव मनोज बाजपेई आल्सो रिमेंबर दैट सो ज्योग्राफी पढ़ना है हिस्ट्री पढ़ना है एनडीए क्रैक करना है ओके फाइन बट एट द सेम टाइम वॉच एवरीथिंग ओके दिस इज नॉट योर लाइफ ऐसा नहीं है कि यू आर गोइंग टू बिकम विवेकानंद आफ्टर स्टडिंग ऑल दिस थिंग This is an exam. That's it. Exam needs two hours of study. That's it. Then you entertain yourself. Song, music, dance, drama. Okay. तब जाके आपको ये सब समझ में आएगा. Fine. Okay. Now the question here it is that the train stopped. Deepika Padukone and these people they the train stops near the waterfall. So the question here in Indian geography is which is that waterfall? Dud Sagar. Okay. Dud Sagar waterfall. It is on which river? It is on which river? All all waterfalls are in Kaveri. Okay, fine. India's India's tallest waterfall. Jog Falls or Jersopa Falls? Is it Jog or Jersopa? Is it Jog or Jersopa? Yeah, Jog Falls is on which river? And Jersopa. Remember one thing in UPSC, you know. Here I will teach you. Jog Fall is the tallest waterfall in the Sharavati River. I'll teach you this. But in exam they ask Jersopa Falls. Now students they do mistakes. Coming out they say that sir, आपने सिखाया वो गलत है. But Jog and Jersopa the meaning is same. Both the waterfall the you know the name is same. Okay. So the tallest now it is Kunchikal Fall. It is not Jog Fall. Yeah. First now it is Kunchikal. But remember. NCERT textbooks haven't mentioned it. Remember one thing, NCERT textbook me kunchikal nahi diya hai. It is not given. So even today now you will go with what jog falls. Okay. Now the next update if it comes, the next ten years, every ten years NCERT will have new textbooks. So suppose if the new textbook says that it is kunchikal not jog falls, then you have to go with the kunchikal. So this is your preparation for your exam. Okay, fine. So here you have like this Western Ghats. We studied about different guards. What are these guards? Fan slow me down. Two, three me. We have Thal guard, Bor guard, and Pal guard. These are all the guards. Just put it in two, two ke speed me rakho. Okay. Samaj me aaya? So ye sab hamne guards pada tha, right? Okay. Abhi idhar waterfall hamne dekha hai. Now from here onwards it will become little tricky. Look at this. The question here is that imagine this is Gujarat, and here you have Western guards. The clouds are coming from a sea called as What is this sea? Yeah? And here you have what? Bay of Bengal. Okay. So here the clouds are going to come. Okay. Every June one, June one, the clouds are going to come. It will come and hit the mountain. Okay. Imagine here there is mountain and the cloud is here. What will happen to these clouds? These clouds will be blocked by this mountain or it will flow easily. So if it is blocked, what will happen to these clouds? This will start raining. So imagine if a mountain is blocking a cloud. If a mountain is blocking a cloud, this kind of rain is called as orographic rain. What is this rain here? We have rainfall of three types. We have rainfall of three types. Write it down. Maybe sir has done it. Okay, rainfall of three types. The first is orographic rain. Which kind of rain? Boro. Next you have cyclonic rain, and then you have convectional rain. Then you have what? Convectional rain. Those who are preparing for UPSC in Bangalore, you guys are lucky. I'll tell you why. Look at this. Orographic rain means what? The clouds are blocked by mountain. Clouds are blocked by mountain. Okay. Now cyclonic rain. Wherever there is cyclone. कट करो कट करो किसका है कट 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 ओके लुक एट दिस वेन एवर देर इज साइक्लोन इन बे ऑफ बेंगाल और सम प्लेसेस वॉट डू वी हैव वी हैव हैवी रेन ओके सो इन तमिलनाडु इफ यू सी नवंबर एंड दिसंबर देर विल बी हैवी रेन ओके नेक्स्ट सो साइक्लोन विल ब्रिंग वॉट इट विल ब्रिंग हैवी रेन कन्वेक्शनल रेन लुक एट दिस बैंगलोर क्लाइमेट मॉर्निंग एट ओ क्लॉक यू नो मॉर्निंग फोर ओ क्लॉक टू फाइव ओ क्लॉक यू विल हैव वेरी नाइस स्लीप You will try to put two bedsheet and sleep, because it is chilling. 
the climate is chill so between 4 to 6 30 the climate is very cold in bangalore slowly what happens 8 o'clock 9 o'clock by 10 30 11 o'clock you feel very hot one o'clock you will feel very hot you will feel uh, bar summer is very dangerous okay cut it cut it all call cut curve so now by by 12 o'clock 1 30 what happens you feel very hot the sunlight is falling you can't see the you uh, know some places suddenly four o'clock five o'clock if you see clouds will start coming up and by five four thirty five thirty it will rain right so imagine when land gets heated the water vapor will rise and it will become what clouds and after after the temperature cools down what will happen to the cloud rain this happens in bangalore so this is called as what convectional rain this is called as what convectional rain now you just wait and see in bangalore what happens this is april right let this month of may comes in the month of may it will be very hot daytime it will be very hot suddenly it will rain okay by evening it will rain so that is the beauty of this bangalore climate okay and remember whatever climate i told you of B bangalore okay same is with london if you go to england people will come out of their home with umbrella in their hand wearing sweater and in back they will carry t-shirt and shorts they will carry like this because they don't know what will happen okay because suddenly daytime it is you know sub suppose evening it is raining they'll take umbrella suddenly if it is cold they will wear sweater suddenly it is very hot they'll wear t-shirt and aram se they'll roam so we are living in london not in bangalore okay imagine like this okay now here you see in bangalore what happens people will go and eat ice cream during christmas time okay in christmas time in america and all people will play with snow they'll make snowman okay like that but here in bangalore merry christmas they'll eat ice cream okay so in winter cold here in bangalore we'll eat ice cream okay in january 26 in delhi there is parade full of snow but in bangalore we will enjoy juice cold juice sapota juice apple juice cold ice dalke juice why because the climate is like this here we cannot predict what is what so you get adjusted during you know morning six o'clock during winter season if you go out on the road people will drink tender coconut have you seen tender coconut but tender coconut is drank during summer season right all these things all questions i will be asking you tender coconuts now tell me these coconuts are grown in which regions mandia okay next have you ever seen one tender coconut in jammu kashmir why it is not allowed they don't like tender coconut climatic condition okay can you grow apple in bangalore no only tree will be there apple won't be there okay something like that see have you heard an oil called as palm oil yeah okay so nagaland is facing a crisis nagaland people are facing crisis so this is the current affairs nagaland is facing crisis of palm oil but now you have to take your, you know, study from here, crops, wake, you know, uh, rain, all these things. Then you have to reach and reach to Nagaland. What is the problem there? Theke. Now the question is, orographic rain, sabhi ko samaj mein aaya? Okay. Ab dekho idhar, ye hai western guards. So on June 1, the clouds will come and here what happens? Rain. Okay. Which kind of rain? Orographic rain. Okay. Imagine the clouds, they have given all the water here. Now it becomes very light. So it will start coming up and then what happens it will start flowing like this so imagine my house is here will i get rain from this cloud no so this region which is having no rain is called as rain shadow region it is called as what rain shadow and listen here this slope is called as leeward side what is this here leeward side of the mountain is called as the rain shadow region because there is no rain here you got the point? Samaj mein hai? Okay. Orographic rain. Written? Do it fast. Plenty things are there. Okay. Look here now. Now, there is one more question. Here there is heavy rain. So, there will be forest or desert? Forest or desert? Thick green coverage. Right? But which kind of forest? Thorny forest, evergreen forest? Evergreen forest. So you have evergreen forest here in Western Ghats. Do you understand? You have evergreen forest here in Western Ghats. That's why Kerala is always green and it is also called as the God's own country. God's own country. Okay, it is like this. Fine. 
so did you all understand orographic rain okay now tell me rajasthan is uh, desert or it is evergreen forest okay those who know raise your hand here i told you india's oldest mountain what is that here i told you one mountain what is this the clouds which are going like this they are going over gujarat also they are going over gujarat also here we have mountain we are having rain here also we have mountain but rajasthan is having desert why there is no evergreen forest not equally distributed yes saptami soil taken no it will that logic is not correct yes ek minute ek minute yeah anyone any idea okay this is near to arabian sea and it is little far that's why there is no rain okay look here look here look here look here yes subhash any answer okay the clouds from here it goes and by the time it reaches rajasthan it is dry he is telling like that due to high temperature the water is evaporated it's something like that next madhu same sai ganesh okay idhar dekho ab interesting fact idhar dekho look here first bench it doesn't have coast rajasthan does not have coast okay fine look here now here this is western ghats okay the clouds it goes and directly it is blocked by what mountains directly it is blocked by mountains but when it comes to aravalli aravalli mountain is here and the clouds will flow like this parallel to aravalli aravalli is not blocking the clouds because it is parallel samajh mein aa raha hai nahi aa raha samajh mein purvi ko kya dekho see if i draw the diagram here ye maine western ghats aisa banaya clouds aisa hai theek hai abhi ye mountain aisa hai okay this mountain is like this this side so the cloud which comes here it is not blocked ye aisa chala jata hai side se side se chala jata hai samajh mein aaya two persons walking i am face to face i'll hit but one person is on this line and i am on this line parallel will i meet them no right so in aravalli the monsoon winds go parallel but in western ghats the orographic rains will take place do you understand okay so this is the reason that aravalli is not having evergreen forest rajasthan is not having evergreen forest okay so this is the reason so now tell me aravalli is waste forest india usko uda denge hum kal se will remove it from the map itself take uh, government of india has a plan aravalli has no use it is not giving us rain rajasthan uske wajah se kya ho gaya hai डेजर्ट हो गया है तो वील रिमूव अरावली फ्रॉम टुमारो नरेंद्र मोदी अरावली निकालो योजना ओके सपोज ऐसा योजना आ गया ओके प्रधानमंत्री योजना सो व्हाट विल हैपन व्हाट विल हैपन इफ अरावली माउंटेन इज नॉट देयर फैन ऑफ फैन ऑफ करो या या इफ अरावली माउंटेन्स आर नॉट देयर लिसन या इफ अरावली माउंटेन्स आर नॉट देयर this deserts will travel and tamil nadu will become desert karnataka will be desert andhra pradesh all this india will become desert so aravalli is blocking the desert to expand do you understand so this is the benefit of it now these things are not there in your ncert but they ask question like this it is there but you have to you know read four times five times then they will you will understand the logic do you understand this okay fine so this is one thing western ghats ho gaya yahan pe there is clusters of mountain this is called as udaga mandalam what is this here it is also called as ot it is also called as it is also called as what nilgiri listen here giri means mountain giri means what krishna giri giri means what mountain neela giri giri means what mountain giri valam in tamil nadu we say giri valam okay so this is mountain okay neel means blue color what is this color here blue color so which mountain is called as blue mountain that's it i'll tell you now here there is a fl flower okay there is a flower called as neela kurinji what is this flower here neela kurinji idhar dekho idhar dekho suno neela means what blue color kurinji means it's a flower so every 12 years what happens this flowers will bloom and if you go to this this ooty uh, mountains on one uh, if you stand from one place if you see the mountain range it will look blue color 
बिकॉज दिस फ्लावर्स आर कंप्लीटली स्प्रेड ऑन दिस माउंटेन पूरा माउंटेन में क्या होता है माउंटेन देखा तो ग्रीन कलर का दिखना चाहिए बट ये uh, हर 12 साल क्या होता है द माउंटेन लुक्स ब्लू इन कलर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके एंड इट हैपन लास्ट ईयर आई थिंक सो यू हैव टू वेट अनदर 12 इयर्स ओके समझ में आया 2 इयर्स ओके फाइन सो दिस इज व्हाट इज द आईडिया बिहाइंड इट समझ में आया इधर देखो अभी नेक्स्ट लुक हियर सो दिस इज वन इट इज एंड मिलिट्री इंफॉर्मेशन military information for you army navy air force here in ooty there is a park called as wellington park those who want to take motivation go to this wellington park you can see their military bases maniksha's uh, you know legacy and you can come back okay you will realize how important it was and maniksha died in wellington okay maniksha died in wellington and wellington is a name of a british officer do you understand and same wellington there is a place in new zealand also okay wellington national park all these things are there now next here this is your western ghats then here you have mountains here one mountain is called as satyamangalam what is that here there is a forest called as satyamangalam forest next look here here there is a forest called as javadi then here in andhra there is a forest called as nalamala what is this here nalamala you know why sir congress why rajasekhar reddy he died in nalamala in helicopter accident okay after that his son is now the uh, you know uh, cm there jagan mohan reddy right yeah remember that so remember nalamala here this is the thing now the question in your exam here also you have satyamangalam forest javadi hills nalamala rajmahal hills here also you have mountains but western ghat is having evergreen forest why there is no evergreen forest here in the eastern coast we have mountains here also why there is no evergreen forest in the eastern coast that's what i am telling why there is no rain hmm. but here it is bay of bengal is there no winds correct ha kya winds okay you are you are right winds are flowing like this but imagine the winds are flowing like this it comes to this mountain here okay javadi so javadi should block and there should be rain no already sugya okay any other reason piche jao idhar aao piche ja ke baitho ha there is okay look at this here what happens western ghat is continuous western ghat is what continuous but here eastern ghats are not continuous do you understand eastern ghats are not continuous so here there is gap so the winds will come out like this so that's the reason we don't have any rain there heavy rain there next cyclone cyclone also enters aram se orissa andhra pradesh tamil nadu they enter aram se because here, yeah yeah because there is no mountain ranges do you understand okay now this is eastern ghats the highest peak in eastern ghat is mahindra giri mahindra giri now if you go to wikipedia and google they give something else okay but this is ncrt i am telling you everything from what ncrt mahindra giri is the highest peak in which ghat western ghats or eastern ghats eastern ghats samajh me aaya okay okay next here in center of india we have mountain ranges okay in center of india we have mountain ranges we have mahadev hills then we have maikal range then we have shayadri okay we have shayadri then here you have vindhyas here you have vindhyas then up we have the up is vindhyas and down is satpuras satpuras do you understand now the highest peak in shayadri is kalsubai kalsubai peak what is that yeah kalsubai peak do you understand so all these mountains are formed in the mid part of india mid part of india so they may ask an exam arrange from right to left that is east to west or west to east samajh me aa raha east to west or west to east mahadev hills maikal range shayadri we are doing a small part of history just 20 percentage of geography that is indian geography if you feel this is difficult you think about the world geography they may ask you mount helena mount etna okay uh, where is mount cotopaxi you know where is mount cotopaxi yeah find out where is mount cotopaxi where is kilimanjaro 
Okay, I showed you that video, right? Okay, so so many things are there. Fine. Ab dekho. Ye samajh mein aa gaya? Mountain ranges. That's it. Okay, so these are all the mountain ranges. Revise all these mountain ranges. I'll ask you some questions on it. ठीक है? Fine. आगे क्वेश्चंस नहीं है खत्म हो गया उसमें नहीं है क्या बुक में करो करो हाँ ओके विच इज दंगेस्ट माउंटेन इन इंडिया क्या हो गया हिमालय ओल्डेस्ट माउंटेन ओके द हाईएस्ट पीक इन वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स आने ही आने ही मुड़ी ओके नेक्स्ट यू हैव What are the types of rainfall? Orographic. Okay. Which rainfall will take place due to temperature variation? Which rainfall will take place due to blocking of a mountain? Orographic rainfall. So now they may ask you all these things. ठीक है ना? Fine. Next, there is one more thing. Which is the wettest place in the world? वेटेस्ट प्लेस इन द वर्ल्ड हमेशा उधर बारिश मतलब मेघालय वेरी गुड मेघालय में किधर चिरा पूंजी और मैसन राम दिस इज द आंसर इट इज इन मेघालय लुकिया लुकिया एक्चुअली इन डेकन प्लेट्यू आई विल टीच यू वन थिंग गारो खासी जयंतिया क्या है ये गारो काशी जयंती ये डेकन प्लेट के टॉपिक में आएगा बट आई एम टेलिंग यू नाउ व्हाई दिस इज योर वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स ठीक है दिस इज योर वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स द क्लाउड्स आर कमिंग हियर देयर इज रेन नाउ द क्लाउड बिकम्स लाइटर इट इज ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम इंडियन पेनिनसुला एंड दिस रीजन इज कॉल्ड एज रेन शैडो रीजन कर्नाटक महाराष्ट्र इज कॉल्ड एज व्हाट रेन शैडो रीजन बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो रेन हियर नेक्स्ट द क्लाउड्स आर ट्रैवलिंग लाइक दिस नाउ दिस इज व्हाट बे ऑफ बंगाल नाउ द क्लाउड्स विल टेक यू टर्न ओके लाइक दिस अभी इंडिया के अंदर वापस जा रहे हैं दे आर गोइंग इन साइड अगेन ओके दे आर गोइंग इन टू इंडिया अगेन सो दिस इज गारो खासी जयंती और यहाँ पे कौन सा माउंटेन से समझ में आ रहा है आपको यहाँ पे गारो खासी जयंती और यहाँ पे कौन सा माउंटेन से हिमालय वॉट आर द थ्री रेंजेस ऑफ हिमालय सो कैन से हिमाद्री हिमाचल शिवालिक ओके नाउ वॉट हैपन्स दिस क्लाउड्स आर गोइंग टू प्ले हाइड एंड सीक Have you played hide and seek? Okay, so अभी ये ये जो clouds है ना ये क्या करेगा? ऐसा इधर से इधर से ऐसा अंदर घुसेगा, ठीक है? It is going inside. Suddenly there is a mountain. 
so what it will do i'll escape from this gap but suddenly there is one mountain outside so again they will come here then they realize are fir se ulta a gaye okay then they will change the direction so what happens here once the cloud goes here they will get lost in this area they will get blocked and lost in that area so when the speed reduces what happens to the clouds water vapor what will happen it will evaporate or rain will come that's why here there is more rain and that is what mesendra okay this is in meghalaya remember m for meghalaya m for mesendra the wettest place in the world what is that here wettest world 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 mein samajh mein aa raha hai okay okay look here now to wettest place barish zyada hoga ya kam hoga more rain so if it is more rain there what about forest thorny forest or evergreen forest so if there is more forest there what about animals less animals or more animals that's it so can you say in western ghats also you have more animals okay so remember one thing here in western ghats western ghats and eastern himalayas what is that here western ghats and eastern himalayas kya hai bolo we have biodiversity hotspot we have what biodiversity hotspot okay in world we have total 25 biodiversity hotspot in that 25 biodiversity hotspot we have two in india that is western ghats and western ghats and eastern himalayas you check your previous year question papers they have asked question like this okay statement number 1 listen to this statement number 1 the statement is western himalayas and eastern ghats we have biodiversity hotspot or western ghats and eastern himalayas we have biodiversity hotspot which is true western ghats and why evergreen forest okay have you heard an animal called as rhinoceros right so where do you have this animal in assam in which forest kaziranga kaziranga national park and recently day before yesterday draupadi murmu has one operation gaza right so this operation gaza she has done in what kaziranga forest elephant okay so elephant rhinoceros they are found only in this area next year in karnataka and western ghats this region we have lion tailed macaca a monkey will be there which has a tail like lion then you have flying squirrel have you seen a squirrel flying okay flying squirrel you have so like this here we have a variety of animal in this two forest that's the reason it is called as biodiversity hotspot do you understand so ye cheez yaad rakhna hai sabko samajh mein aaye ye sab okay next topic hai rivers what is this here rivers write down this chart written okay now those who know raise your hand don't tell the answer which is the oldest river in india those who know raise your hand sindhu yeah yes which is the oldest river in india ganga narmada what is the oldest river narmada now why look here rivers are divided into young mature and old young mature and old young river will have more water and there will be more flood every time mature river will have less water compared to young river it will have less water and old rivers will have very very less water but it will flow in a valley called as rift valley it will flow in a valley called as rift valley okay look at this now imagine imagine this is river 
okay and this river water is this and the river is flowing continuously it is flowing what will happen ye niche jayega because mitti sab kya ho jayega nikal jayega right again after some time what happens this will go like this at one point of time and the water level will be here correct at one point of time this will become something like this and the water will start flowing here very less so this is called as valley can you see v shape can you see v shape this is called as valley this is called as rift valley so narmada flows in rift valley that is between vindhyas and satpuras okay that is the answer fine so now we are going to study about the rivers look at this here imagine this is india okay here you have a lake called as manasarovar what is this here quickly i'll tell you this because uh, we do, we don't have much time manasarovar se one river is flowing like this and here there is a point i told you himachal uh, himalayas is going to take inside himalayas will come inside so what is that point here namcha namcha barwa so from namcha barwa this river comes inside and then goes in bangladesh and then goes and meets bay of bengal this river in china or in tibet is called as zangpo what is this called as when it enters namcha barwa when this river touches the namcha barwa this is called as brahma putra brahma putra is there any missile named after this river what is that bra bra is brahma putra and mos is moskova moskova is a river what is this river okay remember this so which river is called as zangpo in tibet tell loudly which river is called as zangpo in tibet brahmaputra from the same lake manasarovar a river is flowing like this okay then it is going and meeting arabian sea in pakistan it is flowing here in tibet in china it is called as singi kambam what is this here singi kambam is a river now in pakistan this is called as indus what is this here indus do you understand okay now indus has some tributaries five main tributaries jhelum chenab ravi bias satluj what is that jhelum chenab ravi bias and satluj so this satluj river listen here satluj jo nadi hai wo bhi kahan se start hota hai manasarovar so this is satluj which river is coming from manasarovar here and joining which river here indus do you understand okay now you write down the tributaries of indus take down five main tributaries of indus river five main tributaries of indus river jhelum chenab ravi bias and satluj yeah from north to south from north to south ho gaya just uh, give me my phone no aviral aviral phone likha no okay bolo five rivers kya kya hai indus ka tributaries jhelum okay next write down other tributaries jaskar nubra shok hello okay look here what are the tributaries other tributaries of indus jaskar nubra shok and remember this in india there are three rivers which is flowing and pakistan three rivers flowing they go and join in indus now in india we have brs what is that bias ravi and satluj so this three rivers flows in what 
Indian Indian territory. Other thing, Jhelum, Chenab, and Jhelum, uh, Chenab, and you have uh, the uh, these two rivers are flowing in Pakistan territory. Do you understand? ये क्वेश्चन आपको पूछेगा. Which among the five tributaries they flow in India? So what is the answer? BRS. Okay. Now look at this. Ready for the questions now? Keep telling me the answer. Which river is called as Zangpo in Tibet? Brahmaputra. Which uh, river is called as Singhi Kambam in Tibet? What are the five tributaries of Indus? Okay. Another three tributaries? Okay. Three rivers flowing in Indian territory. Bias, Ravi and Satlaj. Now tributaries of Brahmaputra. Write down. Lohit. Subansiri. Dihang. Manas. Lohit. Lohit, Subansiri. Dihang and Manas. These are the tributaries of which river? Brahmaputra. Okay, Lohit, Dihang, uh, Subansiri and Manas. These are the tributaries of which river I am giving you here? Brahmaputra. Samaj me aya? Okay, fine. So now, have you taken it down? Okay. Now, you have Himalayas and from Himalayas, there are other rivers also like Ganga, Yamuna, all those things. Okay. So now look at this Ganga. Ganga originates from which place? Gangotri. But now for NDA, for CDS, the syllabus is different. Here you have Prayag. Here there is a river. This river is called as Alaknanda. What is this river here? Alaknanda. It will come here. So this Prayag is called as Nanda Prayag. This place is called as Vishnu Prayag. What is this place here? Then here, this is called as Karna Prayag. This is called as Karna Prayag. Then here, there is called as Rudra Prayag. Rudra Prayag. And here you have Dev Prayag. Do you understand? Look at this carefully now. Which river is flowing here? Alaknanda is flowing here. Again joining here. Again joining here. Again joining here. Again joining here. Then it is coming like this. Here what happened? Nandakini river joins. That is why it is called as Nanda Prayag. Here another river joins. Here another river joins. Here if you see, have you heard a temple called as Kedarnath? So this is Bhagirathi. What is this here? Bhagirathi. From here there is another river. Okay. So all this river, they join. Alaknanda is continuously flowing. Listen here. Alaknanda is continuously flowing. From here the river will start originating. From here this river is called as Ganga. From here the river is called as Ganga. Okay. So for your examination, if the question is asked, Ganga originates from what? This can be the options. Do you understand? Okay. Next, look at this. Ganga is flowing like this. Here from top, here you have a river called as Ghagra. Here you have a river called as Gandak. Here you have a river called as Kosi. Okay. Next, from down, here there is a river called as Yamuna. What is this river? Yamuna. Now, Yamuna here, down Yamuna has some tributaries. That is Chambal. Chambal. Next, here you have Sindh. Here you have Betwa. Here you have Kane. And there is another river here. This river is Son. What is this river here? Son. So, listen here. Look here. Son, Yamuna, Ganga, they all meet in this place. This is called as Prayagraj. This is called as what here? And the other name is Allahabad. Do you understand? What is that here? Allahabad. Sabko samaj me aya? Okay, look at this now. This is how Ganga river looks. Ghagra, Gandak, this all flow in Uttar Pradesh. Kosi flows in Bihar. And this is also called as Sorrow of Bengal. Sorry, Bihar. It is also called as Sorrow of BR. Which river is called as Sorrow of BR? Kosi. Do you understand? And this, all these rivers, they meet in which place? 
प्रयागराज ओके यमुना इज ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ विच रिवर गंगा गंगा इज फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस दिस इज येलो रिवर हियर गंगा समझ में आ रहा है ओके okay. यमुना का ट्रिब्यूटरी क्या क्या है चंबल हाँ बोलो चंबल सिंध बेटवा केन केन के ई एन नो 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 लिसन यार सोन इज नॉट ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ यमुना सोन इज अ डिफरेंट रिवर सोन इज अ डिफरेंट रिवर ज्वाइनिंग विच प्लेस ओके रेडी फॉर द क्वेश्चंस नाउ नेम द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंगा एक ही है दैट्स इट यमुना इज नॉट देर वन सेकेंड आंसर इ क्वेश्चन नेम द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंगा रिवर और ये बेचारा क्या कर रहा है ये भी है ना दिस सन इज अलोन राइट इंक्लूड हिम इन फैमिली गॉट इट ओके फाइन लुक एट दिस नाउ इधर देखो गंगा का ट्रिब्यूटरी क्या क्या है घाघरा गंडक कोसी यमुना एंड सोन आल्सो ओनली यमुना का ट्रिटी क्या ट्रिब्यूटरीज क्या क्या है चंबल सीन बेटवा केन ओके नाउ रेडी फॉर द यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन ओके रेडी फॉर द यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज गिव सम राइट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंगा गिव द राइट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ रिवर गंगा रिवर गंगा घाघरा गंडक कोसी इज रॉन्ग आंसर लिसन यर विच डायरेक्शन द रिवर इज फ्लोइंग इट इज फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस सो वॉट विल बी द राइट साइड यमुना सो वॉट इज द आंसर यमुना एंड सोड नाउ दे विल आस्क यू लाइक दिस ओके लाइक गोदावरी कृष्णा कावेरी सोन विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज द राइट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ गंगा अभी इजी लग रहा है क्योंकि जस्ट दो सेकंड हुआ ये सिखा के दो महीने के बाद पूछा तो खत्म समझ में आया सभी को अंडरस्टूड नाउ राइट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज एंड लेफ्ट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज नाउ लुक एट दिस दिस रिवर इट फ्लोस लाइक दिस इट गोज इन बांग्लादेश एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एस पदमा एंड देन इट गोज एंड मिट दी बे ऑफ बेंगाल ओके नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दिस यू हैव यमुना रिवर यमुना ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम यमुनोत्री यमुना ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम विच प्लेस यमुनोत्री लुक एट दिस नाउ here this is uh, gujarat here this is rajasthan in rajasthan there is a river called as luni okay then don't write look here don't write look here this is gujarat okay this is gujarat like this so in gujarat there is a river called as sabarmati what is this river sabarmati express malum hai okay next imagine this is india here so here there is a place called as amarkantak what is this here amarkantak From Amar Kantak, a river is flowing in west direction. This is Narmada. What is this here? Narmada. Narmada. One river is flowing in north direction. It goes and meets Prayagraj. It goes and meets Prayagraj. Can you guess it? What is that? Very good. It is what? Son. Another river from Amar Kantak. It flows down. This is Mahanadi. What is this here? Mahanadi. Mahanadi. Tell me how many river originates from Amar Kantak Plateau? What are those? one goes west one goes north another goes east or southeast do you understand on river mahanadi there is a dam called as hirakud dam what is this dam here and hirakud dam is 25 km long how much km long 25 km long the lengthiest dam in india is hirakud dam look here now idhar dekho i'll ask i'll give you the time to write don't break my classes look here Now here in uh, Narmada you have a dam called as Sardar Sarovar Dam. What is that? Yeah, Sardar Sarovar Dam. It took seventy years for India to build it. How many years? Okay, so this is one uh, thing you have to keep in mind. Now Narmada has a tributary called as Tawa. What is that? Don't get confused in exam. Ki they are asking some roti Tawa or something like that. Tawa is a tributary of which river? Narmada River. Understood. Mahanadi Son. Mahanadi is called as Sorrow of Orissa. What is this here? Sorrow of Orissa. Now look at this. Why these rivers are called as Sorrow? Imagine the river is flowing like this. Okay. Imagine the river is flowing like this, and some people are settled here. Village is settled here, and in the month of June and July, there is a prediction that there will be heavy rain and the floods. The river will go and attack this. Okay. 
so the villagers are shifted and they are kept here they all are kept here now what this reverse they do instead of coming here they go here ओके okay, तो हमने क्या कर दिया सीधा मार दिया उनको ठीक है ना सो लाइक दिस सिचुएशन हैपेंस दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज सॉरो ऑफ दैट स्टेट सो व्हिच रिवर इज कॉल्ड एज सॉरो ऑफ ओरिसा सॉरो ऑफ बीआर सॉरो ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल दामोदर व्हाट इज दैट दामोदर सो सबको समझ में आया राइट लुक एट लुक एट दिस नाउ नेक्स्ट इन गोवा ओके नो आई टॉक अबाउट महाराष्ट्र यो यो देर इज अ प्लेस प्लेस कॉल्ड एस नाशिक हैव यू हर्ड इट ओके वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स मालूम है ओके okay, यहाँ पे एक प्लेस है कॉल्ड एस महाबलेश्वर व्हाट इज दैट महाबलेश्वर फ्रॉम महाबलेश्वर रिवर इज गोइंग लाइक दिस डाउन एंड मीटिंग बे ऑफ बेंगाल दिस इज गोदावरी गोदावरी इज कॉल्ड एज दक्षिण गंगा इट इज कॉल्ड एस वॉट दक्षिण गंगा देन फ्रॉम त्रिंबकेश्वर Okay, then from Timbakeshwar, there is a river. This river is called as Krishna. What is this here? Krishna. Then in Goa, don't think that Goa is full of beach. Okay, beach is a small ten percent. Okay, but rest of the Goa is like complete plateaus. Now from here in Goa, there are two rivers, Mandovi. What is that? Mandovi and Zuari. क्या है ये river? Mandovi and Zuari. Okay, next. In Karnataka, there is a place called as Talakaveri. So from Talakaveri, a river goes like this. What is that river? Kaveri. Now in Kerala, two rivers are going and meeting Arabian Sea. That is Periyar. What is this here? And another river is Baradapula. Have you heard it? Baradapula. Okay, these are the rivers. Okay, so these rivers they may ask you the questions. Ready? Take it down. जल्दी करो टाइम नहीं है बोलो बोलो बिकॉज वो नदी है ना उधर कोसी नदी है गंगा नदी है वो बारिश ज्यादा होता है उधर ठीक है ना इसलिए यस इट इट विल हैपन यू कैन नॉट स्टॉप दैट नेचर कंप्लीटेड नर्मदा नर्मदा सरदार सरोवर डैम इज ऑन नर्मदा एंड हैव यू टेकन डाउन रिवर ऑन राजस्थान रिवर ऑन राजस्थान कौन सा है लूनी and remember luni disappears in ran of kutch luni river disappears in ran of kutch it does not meet arabian sea it does not meet arabian sea written tomorrow you guys will have test let me see how many of you do well on this theek hai luni is a river it flows in rajasthan it disappears in ran of kutch ran of kutch so river mountain is done rivers is done theek hai now the question expected in your examination okay the question expected in your examination there is one more topic in river this is called as pattern pattern of the river you have trellis you have dendritic then you have radial then you have radial theek hai fine you can take it down later i'll give you time trellis means imagine there is a river like this okay other rivers will come and join it looks like this okay these are called as what tributaries these are called as what tributaries now dendritic means imagine this is a river there is another tributaries okay now for that this tributaries another small small river will join at 90 degree do you understand other small small river will join this tributaries in 90 degree this happens in rocky surface if the surface on which the river is flowing if it is made up of rock hard rock then it happens like this at 90 degree they will cut each other radial radial means what imagine mountain okay on mountain there is rain so what happens to the water okay it, it is like this and from all direction 
the river will start going this is called as radial so did you understand the patterns okay now listen to the question here uh, just remember one thing have you seen police constable stomach belly how it is six abs yeah tushar uh, mobile rakh do ha idhar dekho yeah kabhi dekha hai police logon ka belly it is big fat right what will happen if you pour water on it imagine he sleeps down okay he is sleeping and we put water on that belly what will happen it will go in that direction like that okay like that india is also like that madhya pradesh is there right madhya pradesh ka bhi pet aage nikla hua hai madhya pradesh ka pet kaisa hai aage okay so what happens look at this imagine this is india this is madhya pradesh the stomach is out now if i pour water what will happen it flows like this one river will flow like this one river will flow like this yes or no okay tell me which river flows in west which river is flowing north which river is flowing south understand now in examination the question will be like this the origin is same amarkantak origin is same but why the river is going in different direction this question is you know a proper question or not yes or no so abhi humko doubt aana chahiye ki sir amarkantak is the place ek hi jagah hai lekin teen direction mein kyu ja raha hai ek hi direction mein ja sakta hai na kyu jata hai because of the pattern because of the pattern okay now i told you about ganga this is ganga what are the tributaries ghagra gandak kosi then you have yamuna so can i say listen listen and there is son okay now can i say this looks like this this looks like trellis this looks like what yes or no fine now the same ganga if i see here okay same ganga river if i show you okay okay now can i say it looks like trellis this is the main river tributaries are there but for tributaries yamuna is a tributaries but all the uh, rivers are joining at what degree 90 degree so can i say it is trellis right so this is the answer so what are the patterns you should know here yeah trellis dendritic and radial samajh mein aaya okay so these are the things you should keep in mind now they may ask you questions anything which of the following rivers are drill is okay now here you have a ghat which ghat it is which ghat it is western ghats now the river is flowing like this which river it is godavari which river is this then you have tungabhadra then you have kaveri why the river is flowing like this because the slope is downwards because the slope is towards bay of bengal okay remember like that theek hai so the river topic is over next you have a topic called as plateau okay listen here this is india 23 and a half degree north okay there is a line this is what 23 and a half degree north this is called as deccan plateau this is called as northern plate yahan par ek mountain hai kya mountain hai yahan par ek mountain hai kya hai ye uti nilgiri then you have all this mountain here right so the triangle region in center this triangle region is called as deccan plateau it is called as what deccan plateau is continuing here in three hills what is the three hills garo garo khasi jaintia and iske upar kya aayega himalayas listen here now the question in exam it is like this garo khasi jaintia is part of what northern plain deccan plateau himalayas now the now the student those who don't prepare they know that garo khasi jaintia is in meghalaya and it is near what himalayas so what they do himalayas but is it right garo khasi jaintia is part of what now if i say deccan plateau has black soil so what soil garo khasi jaintia will have now if i say deccan plateau me once upon a time there was volcanic eruption so can you tell me what kind of eruption will happen here that's it samajh mein is logic lagana hai now this is northern plain northern plain is divided as bundelkhand what is that here bagelkhand write down bring my phone here are aviral bundelkhand bagelkhand and chota nagpur plateau 
What is this here? बड़ा नागपुर महाराष्ट्र में completed so what are the parts of northern plain bundelkhand bagelkhand and chota nagpur plateau aur deccan plateau mein ye hai aapko garo khasi jaintia plateaus ho gaya okay ab dekho idhar dekho ye jo bundelkhand hai na yahan par ek mountain maine bola tha old mountain what is that not not old mountain what's the name i am asking Uh, what is that mountain aravalli aravalli ke andar from aravalli this side we will have northern plain do you understand aravalli ke udhar side that side we have desert do you understand this is how we have indian peninsula do you got the point okay next you have lakes okay look at this these are lakes here in manipur you have a lake called as loktak lake what is this lake here this is also called as floating lake this is also called as dancing lake okay why you can go and dance here then look here why it is called as dancing lake imagine this is lake okay and this is full of water so here you have grass okay thick grass like you can walk on it okay you can walk on it and the grass is like very high okay the height of the grass is like 3 feet 4 feet like that so if you can play hide and seek all these things are there but in these grasses we have small cute deers so what they do they keep jumping from one place to others now if you sit at one place and if you see it, you look like it feels like the deers are dancing okay so it is also called as what dancing lake or floating lake so which lake it is and it where it is manipur okay next look here i'll give you time to write here in orissa you have chilka lake what what lake you have chilka in andhra pradesh you have koleru lake in tamil nadu you have pulikat lake next in kerala you have vembanad lake okay then in maharashtra you have lonar lake lonar lake then in rajasthan you have sambar if sambar is here dal is here ओके दाल इज इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर समझ में आया और यहां पे और एक लेक है बुलर लेक डू अंडरस्टैंड ओके नाउ लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम द क्वेश्चन इज डोंट टॉक विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज फ्रेश वॉटर लेक बुलर एंड दाल फ्रेश वॉटर लेक क्या क्या है बुलर एंड दाल बुलर Which river is feeding water? Which river is feeding water? Jhelum. Okay. Next, Sambar is the saltiest lake. Sambar is a saltiest lake, but the largest salty lake is Chilka. Largest salty lake in India is what? Chilka. Saltiest lake is Sambar. Backwater lake is Vembanad. What is that? Yeah, Vembanad. Backwater lakes. Have you seen this song? Like uh, Aluva something song was there? No. क्या These are these, yeah these are called as meteors meteoroids asteroids okay so th uh, thousands of years ago a big rock it came into the earth and when india was rotating it came and fell on india exactly in maharashtra it fell on maharashtra so imagine if this is land the rock fell and it become a crater like this it become a very big crater like this and now there is rain and the rain started filling up so this lake is formed due to what crater lake Okay, crater. So this is called as crater lake, and now this water is acidic. 
this water it keeps changing its color green color red color orange color okay color change hote rehta hai but you cannot drink it do you understand so this is this is the thing happening in your lakes okay now the question they may ask you which is the tallest lake in india the tallest means the highest in height means height which is the highest lake in india lonar kyu highest hoga bhai apply your mind daran dalan bular okay which is the highest lake in northeast that's what me huh? the highest lake the highest lake in northeast question is simple so listen here upsc idhar aao idhar aao suno idhar idhar suno upsc kya test kar raha hai ki un dimag hai kya okay do the kids have brain ab maine bola aapko manipur mein kya lake hai lok tak lake manipur ki idhar desert mein ya pahad mein is it in mountain or is it in desert it is in mountain right and the question is direct north east mein sabse highest lake kaun sa hai so why you are thinking that's the problem now i am shouting so much for hours together i am taking so much of detail class why because i know my students will not do it i am confident i'll have to teach them lok tak lake dear student dancing lake floating lake dears okay like this then next time next time now upsc they will twist the question the next attempt i have to again go deeper this will take only half an hour to teach but it is taking more than one and a half hours you understood apply your mind common sense northeast bol diya hai orissa is in east northeast is your seven sisters okay you can at least guess this was a question from upsc i am telling you which is the highest uh, uh, lake in northeast they didn't give manipur abhi tumhara brain kaisa hai how is your brain if i give you a question look tak is the uh, lake in manipur that only will be in your mind But if I twist the question, tell me northeast me kider hai, sir I don't know. Manipur kider aata hai, northeast. Fir log tak kider aayega, Manipur. Ha, next attempt. This is what is the problem. You got it. Smartness should be there with the candidates. So lakes over, plain is over, and now we'll do with the plains. Okay. Now next we'll do with the islands. Look here. Here you have Lakshadweep. Okay. Here you have Lakshadweep, and here you have Andaman and Nicobar. What do you have here? Here in Andaman and Nicobar, this is called as Point Indira. This is what? Point Indira. It is also called as Pygmalion Point. What is this here? Pygmalion Point. And here there is an imaginary line. This is called as 10 degree channel. What is this here? So if the question is asked, what degree is going to divide Andaman and Nicobar into two equal half? What is the answer? 10 degree channel and here there is a passage called as duncan passage what is this here duncan passage and here in andaman and nicobar we have a uh, lot of you know uh, like biodiversity but not equal to western ghats and eastern himalayas and here there is an island called as narkondam island what is this here and here you have an island called as baran island what is this here both this narkondam and baran baran island is volcanic eruptions but narkondam is not giving any volcano but baran island is active volcano okay i don't know i'll just i have to check okay it depends on you guys how fast you answer okay fine look here now so which island is active volcano which island is active volcano baran and now dorvant is what narkondam okay and here you have a special tribes jaraba sentinelis onges Okay, these are all tribes in Andaman and Nicobar. This is one thing you have to keep in mind. Next, which river is called as Zangpo in Tibet? <coughs> which river is called as Zangpo in Tibet? Brahmaputra. Okay, Brahmaputra. Okay, in Brahmaputra there is island. Inside river there is island. Okay, inside river there is island. This island is called as Majuli. What is this here? Majuli is an island in which river? world's world's largest river island what is that majuli 2016 nda question 4 marks again they may ask you once again after 6 years or 8 years they may ask you once again because now uh, there is some unesco world heritage site discovered by you know the tag is given to uh, assam that you know burial of the kings and all i'll discuss in current affairs i'll discuss that time i'll let you know 
So Majuli, what is the river island, the largest river island in the world? On which river? Brahmaputra. Samaj me aya? So island ka topic ho gaya. Next you have a last topic here, you have desert. Okay, where do you have your desert? The great Indian desert, it is also called as Thar Desert. Thar Desert is spread in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana and Punjab. How many states? Four states. Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana and Punjab. Okay, four states. Next, suppose if the question is asked on the coastal areas. This is eastern coast and this is western coast. This eastern coast is called as, is divided into two. Okay, one is called as Koromandal. What is this here? Uh, what is that? Uh, Koromandal Express, Chola Mandalam. This is called as Chola Mandalam. Cholas, you know Cholas? They used to rule this coastal area. So, Britishers they called as Cholas, but they were not able to say Chola, so it became Koras. So, it became Koramandal. So, till Kakinada. You know what is, where is Kakinada? Okay. So, from Kanyakumari to Kakinada, here you have Koromandal Express, which, uh, express sorry, coast. Coromandal is a train also. Now here look at this. From Kakinada to Kolkata. What is this here? Kakinada to Kolkata. This is called as Northern Sirkar. North Sirkar. So Eastern Coast is divided into two. What is that? Coromandal and Northern Sirkar. Now Western Coast. From here to here. That is still Goa. This is called as Malabar Coast. What is this here? And from Goa till this Mumbai, Thane, this is called as Konkan Coast. What is this here? Konkan Coast. So from Gujarat, if you take, if I walk from here to here, the total distance is 7516.6 km. This is the length of India's coastline. Take it down. What is the India's length of coastline? 7516.6 km. 7516.6 km. Okay, so <coughs> if you see from here, Maharashtra is there, Goa is there, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra, Orissa, West Bengal. So many states are there. Now the question is, which state in India, which state in India has the lengthiest coastline? What is the answer? Which state in India has the lengthiest coastline? Answer is Gujarat, because Gujarat is like this. Correct? So, from here, from here, this is, you know, like this bordered. So, Gujarat is having the lengthiest coastline. Okay? Here you have Gulf of Kutch. You can write down. Gulf of Kutch here in between. And this is Gulf of Khambat. Gulf of Khambat. Gulf of Khambat. And uh, in Gujarat, here in the northern part, this yellow area which I am shading, this is called as Ran of Kutch. Ran of Kutch and here you have, it is also called as White Desert and here you have Wild as Sanctuary. Here you have Wild as Sanctuary. Got it? Next. In Gujarat here down, the white area which I am shading, here you have a forest called as Gir forest. And what is famous there? Tiger. Kya ho gaya? Class is too much? Gir forest is famous for what? Asiatic lion. Tiger kab se ho gaya? Okay, fine. So it is Asiatic lion. You got the point? Fine. So this is your coast. Next. If I say, imagine, imagine this is Gujarat and this is Jammu and Kashmir like this. If I say from Gujarat like this outer, what is the length of the land boundary? The answer is 15,200 kilometer. What is the length of land boundary? 
15,200 किलोमीटर डू यू अंडरस्टैंड ओके उतना है इंडिया का लेंथ ऑफ लैंड बाउंड्री ठीक है नेक्स्ट विच नेबरिंग स्टेट इज शेयरिंग मैक्सिमम ऑफ इट्स बाउंड्री आंसर इज बांग्लादेश आंसर इज वॉट बांग्लादेश नेक्स्ट विच इंडियन स्टेट शेयर मैक्सिमम ऑफ इट्स बाउंड्री विद अदर नेबरिंग स्टेट आंसर इज उत्तर प्रदेश आंसर इज वॉट या उत्तर प्रदेश ठीक है नेक्स्ट फ्यू अदर मिसेलेनियस थिंग्स दैट यू शुड नो इमेजिन दिस इज इंडिया दिस इज गुजरात एंड दिस इज जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इमेजिन लाइक दिस दिस सिक्किम ओके नाउ न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स द फर्स्ट न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर वॉज इन ट्रॉम्बे विच प्लेस या ट्रॉम्बे इज इन बॉम्बे एंड द नेम इज अप्सरा वॉट इज दैट यपसरा नेक्स्ट आफ्टर बॉम्बे लाइक इन महाराष्ट्र यर इन कर्नाटका यू हैव कईगा वॉट इज दैट यईगा नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दैट इन तमिलनाडु यू हैव टू दैट इज कूडंगुलम एंड कलपाकम कूडंगुलम एंड कलपाकम सो इन कलपाकम यू हैव रोहिणी रोहिणी न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर नेक्स्ट लुक यप In Rajasthan, you have a nuclear reactor called as Ravat Bhata. What is that? Yeah, Ravat Bhata in Rajasthan. Next, in Uttar Pradesh, in Uttar Pradesh, you have uh, uh, Narora. In Uttar Pradesh, you have Narora. Okay. So these are the active nuclear reactor. We have more other nuclear reactors also. Got it? Next, coming to ISRO. The headquarter is in Bangalore near Jalali. Okay, the launching station we have here in Sri Hari Kota. The second launching station here we have in Tuticon. From next time we are going to launch from Tuticon. Next, Tumba. Tumba is the first launching station of ISRO. Tumba is the first launching station of ISRO nuclear reactors. Do you understand? Next, <coughs> look at this. Here on Prayagraj, from Prayagraj to Haldia, Haldia is in West Bengal, Kolkata, and Prayagraj, you know, this is NW one. NW one means National Waterway one. What is that here? National Waterway one is between Prayagraj and Haldia. Second. Between Brahmaputra, you have National Waterway Two. National Waterway Two is in which place? Between Brahmaputra. Okay. Next, National Waterway Three from Kakinada to Chennai. Kakinada, you know. Kakinada to Chennai is National Waterway Three. Next, National Waterway Four is on Kochi. That is Ernakulam. National Waterway Four. हो गया ओके नेक्स्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन हियर यू हैव यू हैव ड्रॉन सो मेनी रिवर्स नर्मदा गोदावरी ओके कृष्णा तुंगभद्रा कावेरी सो मेनी रिवर्स यू हैव ड्रॉन टेल मी व्हाई देयर इज नो नेशनल वाटरवे ऑन नर्मदा रिवर और नर्मदा इज द ओल्डेस्ट रिवर सो व्हाई डोंट वी हैव नेशनल वाटरवे ऑन दैट कम व्हाई डोंट वी हैव नेशनल वाटरवे ऑन नर्मदा Yeah. So what? I'll launch small boats. I don't want big ships. Recently, listen here. The world's largest cruise was launched from Allahabad to Brahmaputra. You know that? The lengthiest. Okay. So question can be asked. Current affairs may question put sakte hai. They will not ask cruise the name of it. Of you know Operation Ganga or Vande Bharat something they are asking. Okay. So but they will ask you national waterways. expected real you know very close we are very close to the upsc geography questions so now the answer is now tell me which which mountain is called as fold mountains himalaya. and himalaya is covered with what snow, snow. during uh, rain uh, summer time what will happen to that snow snow will melt and it will become what water and which rivers will get water ganga yamuna 
Brahmaputra, all those rivers will get water. During rainy season, these rivers will get water from what? Rain. Right. So, 12 months, complete 12 months, the rivers originating from Ganga, they have water. But here in Narmada river, it will have water only during rainy season. That is the answer. Now imagine, I, I launched a boat, but there is no water in Narmada. What is the use? Business fail. But in Ganga, what happens? Always there is water because the snow is melting. Okay, there is rain also. That is the reason. So how the questions will be asked? Maybe match the following or maybe they will ask you why there is no national waterway in the uh, this region. Perennial rivers, okay, rain shadow rivers, something like that. Okay. Now after this, you have an important topic of soil. Then you have climate. Then you have crops, agriculture. In crops, you have Zaidi, Rabi and Karif crops. Then in soil, you have alluvial, red soil, black soil, laterite soil, all these things. And then in climate, yeah, mountain soil. Then in climate, we'll study about different region. Tropical evergreen, tropical deciduous, all these things. Got it? So enough for today. Tomorrow, I'll ask you all these things. Whatever I have taught you today, tomorrow I'll ask you all these things. We'll have a small test, have a small oral test. And then we'll move on with the UPSC questions like that. Okay, yes. I'll give you all this page and this class also I'll upload it. Okay, fine. So you can leave now. And go to ground.